Recently, we have got a query on our Excelrimi YouTube channel. The query was to easily look up values from multiple tables. Can we utilize the Power Pivot feature instead of the traditional Excel lookup functions? The answer is yes. We can use the Power Pivot feature to do so. Hello everyone, this is Hadi Ulbasha from Excelrimi, and today we will learn how to use Power Pivot as an alternative to lookup functions in Excel. Power Pivot. Power Pivot is an Excel add-in. You can use this tool for developing data models with multiple tables and performing data analysis. This will allow you to get insights from the data tables split into multiple worksheets or even workbooks. First of all, let's get introduced to our data set. We have three worksheets named as Salesman, Products and Sales. Here in the Salesman worksheet, you'll find the details about the salesman. That are their salesman ID in column B and salesman name in column C. Now, if you go to the products worksheet, you will find the product related data here that are the product ID in column B and the product name in column C. Finally, in the sales worksheet, we have the data related to the sales. This includes the date, the order ID, product ID, salesman ID, shipping mode, delivery status, and sales amount. One thing I should mention here that this is a very compact data set. Only the necessary data are here. So we didn't include the product name as well as the salesman name in this data set. Now, if you want to know the sales figures of each salesman along with the product names, then you can use the traditional lookup functions of Excel to get that data. However, this method has some limitations. For instance, you need to apply and adjust the formula every time you want to relate the data among multiple tables and here comes power pivot in action in this case power pivot offers great flexibility because once the data model is created you can use that data model to get any information from the related tables so now first of all we need to create the tables with all the data sets so go back to the salesman worksheet in this worksheet as a cell c4 of the data set is already selected so to create the table we can move to the insert tab then from the tables section click on table alternatively you can press ctrl plus t to create the table this opens the create table dialog box you can see the entire data set is highlighted automatically and my table has headers option is checked i'll go with this option enabled because my data set has headers now click on ok to create the table hence the table is created you can now format this table for example to change the style of this table you can go to the table design contextual tab on the table styles section you can click on this drop down icon and here you will find all the different available styles that you can use as the style of your table you can choose any style according to your preference in my case from the light section i'll choose the style none you can see the style is applied to this table next i'll set a name to distinguish this table for that reason from the table design contextual tab in the properties section in the table name field you can see the default name is table one you can set any name in this field however I would recommend using a meaningful name so that later you can recognize this table easily. In my case, as this table contains the data about salesman, so I'll name this table as salesman. Now hit enter. As a result, the name salesman is hooked to this table. From now on, the table salesman will refer to this table. Hence, our first table, including the salesman data, is created. Now let me quickly use the similar fashion to create the tables with the products information as well as the sales information. And in this way, we have created all the tables using all the data set of this workbook. Now, as all the tables are created, we are ready to establish the relationships between the tables. Here, we will establish the relationship based on a common column as salesman ID is the common column between the sales table and the salesman table. So, to get the salesman name from the salesman table, we can utilize the common salesman ID column. Similarly, to get the product name, we will utilize the common product ID column of the sales table and the products table. Now, to establish the relationship, go to the data tab from the data tools section click on relationships this opens the manage relationships window as in this window i'll establish the relationships among the tables to create a new relationship choose the option new this opens the create relationship window here you'll find the options to select the table and the column based on which the relationship will be established and the relationship will be established 
based on a common column in the first case i'll establish a relationship between the sales table and the salesman table so as a common column i'll use the salesman id one thing i should mention here that the primary related column will be such a column that contains only the unique records on the other hand the foreign column may contain repetitions as in our case the salesman id column has repetitions that means one salesman id appears more than once in this salesman id column of the sales table so i need to use the salesman id column of this sales table as the foreign column now to choose the table first click on this drop down icon and here you will find the list of the tables of this workbook from this list choose the sales table then choose the column of this sales table based on which the relationship will be established click on the drop down icon of the column foreign and here you will find the name of all the columns of this sales table as i will create a relationship based on the common salesman id column so from this list choose the option salesman id next i will choose the related table so click on this drop down icon and select the table salesman that contains the name of the salesman then as a related column primary click on this drop down icon and select the common salesman id now if i click on ok then a relationship between the sales table and the salesman table will be established based on the common salesman id column and then the necessary informations from these two tables such as the salesman name along with the sales volume can be extracted using the pivot table feature so to create the relationship now click on ok and this creates a relationship between the sales table and the salesman table and as i have mentioned earlier the relationship is established based on the common sales id column and the status of the relationship is active you can use these options to edit the relationship deactivate it or even delete it however as i will create a new relationship between the sales table and the products table so i'll click on new and this opens the create relationship dialog box i'll follow a similar fashion that i have used to create the relationship between the sales table and the salesman table to create the relationship between the sales table and the products table this time so from the tables section click on this drop down icon and you can see sales table is added to this data model so it appears as data model table so choose the sales table and from the column foreign table click on this drop down icon and choose the option product id that is the common column between the sales table and the product table after that click on the drop down icon of the related table and from the list choose the option product then move to the related column primary section and choose the option product id now click on ok to create the relationship as a result a relationship between the sales table and the product table is created based on the common product id column now click on close to close the manage relationships window and the relationships are established now you can go to the power pivot window to view the relationships so go to the data tab on the data tools section click on power pivot window this opens the power pivot window and here you will find the three tables the sales table the salesman table and the product table that we have created one thing i should mention here that we have established the relationships between the worksheets of a single workbook however you can establish relationships between tables of different sources to do so you need to go to the home tab then use the get external data section to establish the relationships now to view the established relationships go to the view section and choose the option diagram view and here you can see the relationships we have established between the tables you will find the sales salesman and the product table here let me resize the sales table so that you can get a clear view of the sales table you can see the tables are connected with lines and this indicates there is a relationship between the tables if you hover over the line then you can see the product id in the green box and this means the relationship between the sales table and the product table is established based on the common product id column and you can see one next to the product table and an asterisk sign next to the sales table and this means a single product id of the product table is related to multiple records of the sales table and this relationship is known as one to many relationship similarly 
there is also a one to many type relationship between the sales table and the salesman table and you can see the relationship here now consider a scenario where you want to get the sales figures along with the salesman name as well as the product name you can see the data are split into three tables so it would be difficult to get your desired sales data however as we have already established the relationships among the tables so we can utilize these relationships to get your desired set of data to do so we need to create a pivot table you can create the pivot table in two ways you can create the pivot table from the worksheet alternatively you can use the power pivot window to create the pivot table for this reason go to the home tab from the pivot table section click on this drop down icon and here you will find different options of pivot table in this case i'll choose the option pivot table and this opens the create pivot table window here you can set the location of your pivot table you can create the pivot table in a new worksheet alternatively you can use the existing worksheet to create the pivot table in my case i'll create the pivot table in a new worksheet so i'm clicking on ok to create the pivot table as a result you can see that a new worksheet named as sheet 1 is created and you will find the pivot table fields window here here you will find the tables that we have created you can click on this arrow to expand that table and you can see the product table has the product id and the product name columns and this product id and product name can be used as pivot table fields now let me expand the sales table as well as the salesman table now using these fields you can create a pivot table for example to create the pivot table with the sales figures of the salesman along with the product names i need to place the product name field in the rows area then drag and drop the salesman name in the columns area and you can see the product names and the salesman names are added accordingly now to insert the sales figures you can check the sales field hence the sales field is added to the values area and you will find the corresponding sales figures in the pivot table and in this way you can create and establish relationships between multiple tables and use power pivot to get the necessary data combining the connected tables you can further customize this pivot table for example in cell b4 as the column b contains the product names so in cell b4 type product name after that to auto fit the cells click on this icon and double click as this two headed arrow appears hence all the cells are auto fitted after that you can change the number formats for that reason select the cells c5 to h10 then move to the home tab from the number section you can click on this dollar sign which is the accounting number format hence the number format is applied to the cells and from this pivot table you'll find the sales figures as well as the name of the product along with the name of the salesman and from this pivot table you will find the product wise salesman wise and the ultimate grand total calculated automatically in this way you will get a wide range of data from this pivot table and can use power pivot as an alternative to lookup functions in excel you can download the practice workbook from the video description feel free to leave any questions suggestions or feedback in the comment section below you can go to excelnemy.com to read our excel blogs or you can share your excel related issues in our excelnemy forum and receive free solutions make sure to subscribe to our channel Thanks for watching our video. Bye.